Guys, I strongly believe that in the future, cars will have solar panels on them. Or at least they'll be covered in a thin layer of solar paint. Nissan seems to agree. Now, I don't believe for a second that Nissan is going to be part of the automotive future, at least not as they're known today as the Japanese entity. But I do like their efforts here. They have tried. Anyway, they've unveiled an electric vehicle with a solar roof. And, well, you can get quite a bit of range from what is a relatively small amount of area on this mini car. Guys, this is a mini car, and you can get around about 2,000 miles of electric vehicle range every year. Now, a lot of people only drive 2,000 miles a year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. This is a, actually a really cool car, not just the solar option, but I think the car itself is cool because even though it looks kind of geeky, these little MPV electric hatches that look like a little mini MPV are the most practical car on the planet. Let's be real. I mean, who needs a huge car? Most of the time we really don't, do we? Um, plus, you're combining this really, really practical body shape with it being electric and with it being powered by solar. I mean, honestly, I think that this is really awesome. Kudos to Nissan because the other thing about this is the solar panel, you can see it kind of retracts from inside the roof. So this vehicle is based on Nissan's popular Sakura mini vehicle, mini EV. And the idea is to enable people to, well, in Japan, people don't drive long distances usually. This would be perfect there. This features the AO solar extender panel on the top, which is a roof mounted solar panel system developed in house by Nissan themselves. The system can actually charge the vehicle while driving and when it's parked. So, I mean, that's awesome. And I've only ever driven one vehicle like this myself, which was Aptera's uh, three-wheeler EV in the United States in kind of near San Diego. Went to their factory, test drove their vehicle, and it was in the car was inside the factory. And when I drove it outside of the factory, as soon as the very second that the vehicle was as soon as the, the vehicle got access to some sunlight, it began driving on solar. And it actually had this thing on the dash saying, you're now driving on solar, which is just awesome. When stationary, an additional solar panel extends forward from the storage you can see on the roof, increasing the solar panel surface area and boosting power generation capacity by more than 60%. Now, make it clear, it doesn't double the amount of solar. It's not big enough to that retractable panel. It doesn't double it, but increases it by about 60%, which is a pretty nice difference. A lot of people say solar panels on roofs don't make sense. But if you can get 3,000 kilometers of range uh, on your EV from having a solar panel like this for free, totally for free, 3,000 kilometers, I mean, I, I would take that. Guys, would you? Let me know what you think. Now, to be official... The added range Nissan says 1,864 miles or 3,000 kilometers. I don't know how they got those numbers. Was it perfectly sunny every day of the year? Um, was it parked outside? Don't know exactly, but those are the numbers from Nissan. For drivers who mostly use the vehicle for short trips, such as commuting or shopping, this could eliminate the need for charging at all. You might maybe charge once a month, if that. Here's the thing. Apparently, Nissan is saying this is going to be an affordable car. Nissan said, we want to make a car that needs neither gasoline nor grid-based charging. They explained that while most research focuses on improving the efficiency of compact solar panels, such as an approach raises vehicle prices, and Nissan's solution instead increases the total panel area to keep costs down while maintaining enough output for daily use. And I, th I think the way they've integrated this is really cool. Not as cool as Mercedes-Benz's solar paint, which I think is more practical and has more surface area potential. Um, 
but it's still a really awesome affordable version of an EV. The extended solar panel generates around 500 watts of power and it provides shade and blocks sunlight from entering the windshield. So you're also keeping the, your, the inside of your car cooler as well when it's sitting stationary. That helps obviously reduce cabin temperature and reduces the energy needed for air conditioning and integrates seamlessly with the Sakura's compact design. My solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay $0 for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. In my opinion, awesome. I know there's going to be some people that hate this and they think solar on EVs doesn't make sense, but I think they'll probably change their minds eventually. Nissan Sakura has been Japan's best-selling EV for three years in a row. The best, this is the best-selling EV in Japan. And its compact design and daily driving range, which people say is enough, it's not much, it's just over about 150 kilometers, but it's popular because it's all people really need in Japan. With the AO Solar Extender, Nissan hopes owners who travel mostly short distances can further reduce their dependence on charging infrastructure. People who live in apartment blocks, for example, just park on the street and, you know, that might be enough for you. Besides being convenient, the solar system can serve as an emergency power source during disasters. So you can plug this thing into your house. This is promoting the AO Solar Extender as a practical addition for urban drivers, combining sustainability with practical usability. So being able to use this thing to power utility, you know, to power your utilities, your fridge, uh, potentially whatever your needs are when there's a when the power goes out, I think is an awesome feature. So are Nissan going to manufacture this EV en masse? Well, Nissan have confirmed they plan to bring the system to commercial launch in the future. Don't know when. Um, let's hope that Nissan stays around long enough to actually manufacture this because I personally think it's awesome. Um, guys, I understand some people, uh, you know, they are naysayers. They say things like this won't work, but I think they will. And, uh, you know, I think solar-powered EVs will happen eventually. We'll have cars that are going to be so efficient that um, and we'll have, you know, incredible efficient paint coverings like what we've got from, Nis from Mercedes Benz, their paint, their solar paint. I think that's probably going to be the long-term future for solar-powered EVs. But do you guys agree? Do you think it's going to work? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.